So, cool, punk. But this is in every style, the high level. You in karate, they lost. When you put pressure, anytime there's pressure on my body, the contact point in my feet should be equalized. Right? My spine has to be neutral and slightly touch so that the energy you're pushing forward come, goes into my thigh. Once I get into my thigh, as long as I keep the pressure and that pressure equal, on, see, on a line front, you change the line, break the line, go, same thing. I just find that pressure. The first way to learn it is to hit. So relax. Just enough to keep the straight the, the structure. Yeah. Now make the pressure here the same as your foot. See? You feel it, right? Yeah. Right. So this bone, the humerus, is, is where you're blocking it. <coughs> Karate, you little punch. What I'm blocking with is my humerus. This is just a vehicle to get to here. Right? When you go further, I want to match the pressure in the humerus into the femur. Keep pushing. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is how strong you are. You're going into a post. Yeah. So first is somewhere in the post. So if I come to push you, see, you've got to be able to take the weight. See? You do it by pressurizing the contact point and the foot equal, keeping the spine neutral. So once I do that, relax, you want to feel that long, right? If I do this to you, put it down to the foot. See, I can be here, push, it doesn't matter. I can be all retarded, it doesn't matter. Because it's, it's, you put pressure, hard, 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 doesn't matter because I'm in my body. I'm allowing that force that's built up go, to be equalized to the ground. See? Yeah. Doesn't matter what you're doing. See? So, huh? see? So you start bouncing around, right? Because basically, there's two things that happen. One, you're getting an elastic collision, and two, for me, the act of me settling, foot pushing, and taking this pressure and equalizing it to my foot, it causes me naturally to drop down very small. I'm not, you don't have to think about it, you push on. See, if I'm up here, but I'm bringing it down, go. I've now changed the line about a foot of an inch. So now you're not pushing in the same angle anymore. Right? It, it seems that way. Push on. See, if you're here, you got. Why don't you touch me? I pressurize the feet. Go. See what I'm saying? Now. When they have that feeling, <coughs> yes. So get that feeling. Huh? Hard. The harder you go, the easier it is. You less. <laughs> right. So again, you put pressure. I let the pressure get through my body. Contact point here, my foot, the same pressure. Relax my spine so it gets through my foot. Right? Reality it should happen backwards. The thing is, you want to get to happen realistically. People can feel what's happening here in that foot in the ground. So if I think, feel this, put it down to the ground. You can feel that. So you instantaneously have a root pack. It doesn't take 10 years to learn. If I push this, see? Better. Make sense? Push. Better. Right? So now I have to use trickery to get you off your base. You see? But the first level of like rooting and pump, in my opinion, comes from this. Contact, equal contact to the floor, drop the hip, goes through the femur, push, pause you on as matter. Right? Because now it's just structure. Then, once I'm in this position, go. I have your force, I just turn it. See? You feel that? So I'm taking the contact point, I turn it slightly, and then whatever that turn is, is where I power out. The other way to do it is just not genuine, is instant, instant pressure. So, when I come to a 50 50, go, so I'm built up, and now from here I'm just going to take the spin and open the spin. This is the feeling of I'm going to push to you, I'm going to feed you a straight line. So, get into the ground, hands, foot. So, now you feel good. See how fast that was to learn? Okay, good. You feel good now. Now what you do is sit down. See, now I'm all fucked up. 
You see that? Yeah. Because that point where my the focus in my mind is saying, okay, this x y axis where I'm holding my balance has now changed. So there's an instance where I start to float. Yeah. Right? So just from touching, and sit, that's it, I'm already broken. You see it? Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So you have to be able to self curse so I go out and you change it, I have to correct again. Uh -huh. See? To be constantly correcting in these small positions when you're not thinking about it. That's like a high level. Yeah. But for just sport fighting, all you need to know is that when someone pushes into you, can I get this instantaneously? Pressure, pressure. If I can get this pressure, that pressure, the same. Go. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the harder you push here, the harder my foot feels. I'm not doing anything special with my feet. Okay? Yeah. Then I can do this backwards. So I touch you, I get this pressure, this pressure the same, right? And now from inside, just push. Right? I say push, but you feel it. It's like a. Yeah. Okay, try. So I give you pressure, you feel the root, relax, get the inside pressure, so you can make the bubble. Right, so you're good. See? Come again? Don't try to move me, just yawn. Right, right, right. Right, right through. Right. One motion. Go. There you go. Don't even have to do that. In the beginning, bigger moves easier. So from here, turn your hip, open the hip, push through. Since you have me zeroed out, go. See it? You're more zeroed out. Right? Go. There. And I wanted to do it through the hard line. Yes, I can just go to the corner. But that's, if you always train to the weak line, you get struck on the hard line, what do you do? So practice on the, on the hard line. Right, go. Go, hard, hard. Good, go, 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 ready? Okay. So I'm in a really shitty position, you can give a hold back. Yeah. Right? All it is is pressure equal pressure. Right? It's, go. Okay. So how are you going to throw me if you can't get your power to affect my center? Because it's just going through me. I'm pissing it out. Right? Whereas if I come in and I tighten it up here, go. See? That's when people get fucked up. Usually people get taken down hard because they go through a punch and then someone comes underneath them and then they tighten up. And the pressure comes in and they're like fucking rocks and they get spun around. Come in. I'm over here. I can be like this. Go take me down. Same pressure. Same pressure. How does it feel? Right, it just feels like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. So that feeling, first, get it, just pull my weight, take it down to the ground, push, right. Now, don't try to move me, just reach through. Yeah, yeah, consistent, reach through, right, 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 right. Okay. Reach through. Okay. I'm not, I don't have to pop. Power is always here. Come here. See, it's always here. Come in hard. It's always here. Come in hard. The whole time, it's it's just this feeling of wherever you get touch me. See, pressure, pressure, pressure. Any sense? See. So when I move my head this way. I, I, I'm pushing you. It's just that I touch you, and in that moment, I touch you with compression. The pressure hits my foot, and then it's like go back out. Right? It's a rebound. So you push in, there's a pressure, and out pressure. Even a reverse punch, I shouldn't do this. Mm -hmm. I should do this. Right? You feel like this. Right? Go. So let me lean in, get my body weight, capture my body weight, and now just reach, let the body weight come back out. Let's spring out. Right. Now, on the hard one, don't try to go and find the weak angle. Break the hardest one, the ribs. Okay? Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, people will say this is double heavy. It's not because I'm not actually fighting in the line. Right? I'm taking this hard line, I'm allowing it to go through. Soft is not always mushy and something off or receiving. So you can be pushing me, and we can be on this 50-50 line, but I'm not fighting, right? So 
so it actually would happen. Because it's times when it happens. In all reality, you, I'm just going to get out of the way and hit you. The way that Tai Chi, it looks like a white crane, so it's like this, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get the fuck out of the way and hit you. Yeah. Right? But it's not always like that in reality. Uh -huh. So practice the hardship first. Practice, I'm coming on top of you. How do you deal with this? Right? If you can deal with this, then feel, you, you feel it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so come. Here you go. So getting that feeling as a response to pressure is what the whole thing is. Now, because I don't have enough time to explain it to you, I'm trying to give you ideas you can use it. So when you're sparring, I come up to you. You see, you should be able to base out, get the pressure, get the pressure. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Without using muscle, just reach through that. See, now you got everything you want. That was, that was it. You felt how you got me in the bone? Yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Make sense? Yeah, much. Much French, right? yeah. I don't want to just do this. I want you to feel, mm -hmm. I want you to feel that. Yeah. I want you to feel like, what the, what the fuck is going on? I'm not just going to hold your head. I'm going to really yank you around the fucking rag <laughs> Okay? Yeah. But it all comes from the same idea. I put pressure, you, could, you take the pressure, let it go down to the foot. That's the feeling I want. Is that right? So if I, if, you know, I get to here, then get to your foot. You don't even have to go down. Just get it there. Just get it there from wherever you want. See, it's there. Yeah. You feel it? Yeah. It's inside the body, internal, internal all. Yeah. Right? The pressure, I mean, look, I'm going to be out. Push hard. Hard. Right? Do it again. Same thing. Go. <laughs> you see how stupid this is? Yeah. It looks the same, but I inside, when you put pressure, I don't run from the pressure, I let it go. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. So now we're just running through. Push hard as you want. If it gets too much, so just let it turn. Let it roll. So I like to say the catching force. When you come to push into me, I let you rest for a second, and once you're into my center, it's not oil and water, salt and water. You touch me, now you're inside. Push hard. Because it's blended. So a lot of people will tell you, like, oh, this is not real Tai Chi. So bullshit. You're coming at me like you're trying to like, rob me. I can go, oh, man, it feels different. It doesn't work like that. Right? You come at me, I'm like, okay, fine. I caught you. And now from this idea of pressure versus pressure, I now learned how. Make sense? Yeah. So you deal with the hard line first. You can deal with this and you feel comfortable with pressure on your chest. Then getting away is easy. Just turn. Just turn. Getting away is easy. Anybody can turn the hip. Anybody can cover up who's going to learn this inside. Oh my god, he's pushing it. It's inside. It's inside. Right? So now that you get that, what do you do when you get, get somebody who has that? Yeah. So now I got you. Get a good stance. I'm going to feed you a good line, right? Get a good stance. Don't let me move. Get the pressure equal. Right? Good. See, so that's a good line. Now I'm using constant pressure on the line. You're very strong. Right? Watch. Pressure can be only strong on two vectors. Not three. That's why we spiral punches. If you throw a block, it's just like this. And I throw a punch like this, no problem. It'll stop me every time, right? Right? Stop this. <laughs> In contact, okay? Here's the punch. Totally punch it. Keep it in contact. I'm just gonna come in. Ready? What changed? Uh, your elbow. You're dealing with two vectors. I'm using three. Right? That's so. When you do a block in karate, what do you do? You spin. Because anybody who was a real fighter back in those days knew about the spiral. Right? It's three vectors over two. If you're not spiraling and I'm spiraling, you're fucked. If we're pummeling and you're wrestling, and we're just doing this arm over arm shit, if, don't let me touch you. See? But if I do this, come. <laughs> right? If I don't do that, I just try to come in, even if I, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't do it. But once I turn over, 
So that principle, when the pressure's here, I'm gonna get rid of it. First, I don't run from the pressure, come here. Keep it, see how, relax. Now I feed it through, I, I become yin. It doesn't mean I become soft, it means I become receiving. So you're coming into my body, in through the foot, right? Now I can just spiral it out, come, right? Because there will be a time when someone gets on top of you. There'll be a time when he's already here. What do you do? Start training from that point. Start training from the point where I'm throwing the kick and he's already here. Yeah. So I already messed up, right? I go throw the kick and he's already, he's already here. So how do I deal with that? I deal with it by always having to check, right? If I'm dealing with a wrestler, he's coming in, I know he's going to hit me down. I deal with that by equalizing pressure. Come in. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to stop before you even move. Right? Come on, You go. So every time, if you go for it, I have this, go. Okay? Hold. Okay? Come on, Mr. Jiu-Jitsu, you fucking move tight, brother. Come on. Equalize change level and spin up. Now I make that to a hit by changing the frequency, making it faster. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, oh shit. So you have like a, you have this kind of weight, right? You have this kind of hit, right? You have this kind of hit, you have that kind of hit. Okay? When everything's at once, and you see what happens. You go shit. Right? There's also there's a feeling you're gonna get when you stretch. Okay, come at me. I'm gonna stretch. Okay? Well I have a stretch in there, you used to stretch. You feel that? Yeah. So again, first principle, I can contact, pressure, pressure, equalize. Stretch. Okay? Pressure, pressure, equalize, stretch. Okay? Pressure, equalize, come apart, stretch. Okay? The pressure, structure. Okay? All it is, the pressure, right? Hard part, I make that equal, and then I stretch. Okay? When I do that stretch in my mind, because in order for me to get this front pressure, in order for me to think, go into my foot, my body naturally goes and changes the level. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. But it doesn't look like it, but I'm not going. I've already changed level. Now your powers mean anything. <laughs> right? It's a small change of level. Whereas most wrestlers, if you're here, they're gonna do a big change of level. Right? Whatever the guy touches me, come ever. See? This is it. For pressure, change level. Make sense? What does it feel like? I was fine. <laughs> All the energy that I'm using against you goes right back at me. What does it feel like textually? It'll bounce. It'll bounce. Yeah. That's pump. Okay? Because pong is like, it means boy. <laughs> right? That makes sense. <laughs> so now when you get this equal, equal, relax, stretch, change level, it bounces. Right? Pressure, pressure. Right? Drop the sacrum and change the level. It's this much. Right? Even when I do it from the hands, right? If I, once I take this into my body, see, I change the level. So now the whole axis change. You go push, you're already pushing yourself. Right? So the idea is to get that feeling every time you're wrestling and someone's touched you. Right? So what I'm gonna like do is like real tight shoot the hands and come at me. Right? So the hands that have an actual knee, but I don't have time to teach you that. So I'm just teaching you the internal the concept. Because this concept can work at anything. Right? Up. Uh, uh, you see what I'm So I hit you with the punch. I hit you. I pressure, pressure, pressure. Expand. Bam. Go. And because you have your center, the calculation your body's making to deal with those forces, that 
other outside point has now changed reference. And that reference that isn't changing throws a loop that you're not really ready to pick up with. Right? So even like in this, if I just do this, nothing would happen, right? But when I come, I make the pressure equal, you automatically feel, yeah. because by me thinking hands and foot drop my hip is a small level change. You felt it? Yeah. <laughs> Any question? Uh, no. How would I, when you're gone, how would I pressure you to grab a buddy and have a... Well, the more people you can get to try to like play with you and touch you, the best thing, right? I say, you know, this guy, uh, I think right now I think the best one I have, I wish it clear, I, I got to play uh, at one of the little meetups, and he had this one way that they play push hands, which is hands on the body and hands on the upper body. And they would just go from here. So that, which I think is probably the best game version I've seen to teach this. Right? Yeah. That I've seen so far. Okay. For the play to teach this move. Yeah. It's not good for fighting, my opinion. No. But to play and understand what's happening, that's the first thing. The next thing you could do is go to a wall. And what you're going to do is you're going to pressurize, pressurize, and then reach and pop yourself off the wall. See? When you do this right, see how your feet bounce? Yeah. So, down, good. Watching the side. I pressure, 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 and then when I work, I reach. Because the pressure is equal, once I'm going to reach out, this contact point now loops in on itself. And that loop in is what takes the rebound in the elastic collision. So, when you get that feeling, you get that. It looks like bullshit, I know. <laughs> it looks like bullshit, but it's the real thing. Get closer. Relax. Remember this. Lean the pressure. I reach like I'm yawning. Get the pressure that my throat pressure get. Uh. But everything pops off at the same time. You're not really pushing yourself. That was good. Get closer. <laughs> and you have to be able to do this from any distance. Someone's like, you'll give me a shit. The fuck away from me. <laughs> fuck away from me, bro. <laughs> okay? You got more shit you're on? Yeah. Because it doesn't matter what angle you're at. Look, I'm going to go from here. From here. Okay? From here. Right? Or. See right there, I'm going to your root, I'm, I'm compressing root to root, but I feel the pressure. And then what I do is I go to open up, because you're zeroed out. But if I don't, I can just do the same thing with you. Right? Which is actually, a, you'll see me do that in sparring. Where I use this technique to get away, to make space. So we'll sparring like this. And I'll push myself off. Right? Yeah. So when you do this right, Come on. Okay? Same kung fu movie shit. Yeah, I know you can't do that on your home like you used to. Huh? You just don't back 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't do that like, um, you know. Yeah. Two, how many car accidents, baseball yeah. bats, shootings, and I can't do that shit. <sighs> that was good. That was good. Switch it. So even one thing. Okay? So this is not a way. So sorry? So everything, every part of your body can do this. Okay? It looks ridiculous. Right? But pressure, pressure. Okay?
how I used to teach this I would tie the hands up to the elbows. You can only do this. Come at me. Okay? So that there's no use of my upper arms. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? In here, it. You know it's right because it's not like a it's not like a rolling over your body push. You pop off the ground. Like right? huh? You feel you feel you're off the ground. Right? Yeah, the lack of collision, your 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 bone marrow. The bone marrow and the floor in your body is really compressing up and then when there's no more way to go, there's a 50-50 exchange, right? Push. So now it's built up. Once it changes the axis, it wants to release on the, the point of least resistance. Push. Right? So that it's only we're only able to sustain this 50-50 double heavy. Go, ha, ha, ha. See, once the line change, you jump. Right? Go. So, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now just open. Go. Okay, not that. Again. Go with your arms move. Now from here, open this way. Into your hands. Use your kidneys to push your hands. That was good. That was good. Right, right here. How do I make my body make this trick happen? And you have this weird trick happen anywhere when someone touches. Okay? Try again. Push your kidneys towards your hands. And let that be better. That was better. That make sense? So first, contact equal to contact in the foot. Right? Stretch into it. Drop your hips and you will pop. Yeah, yeah, that, there you go. There you go. Good. Now, do it to me and jump off of me. Go. Go. Good. Now, do the same thing, right? But instead of trying to jump off, I want you just to feel the pressure. Push, push, push. Now, change that pressure contact point one quarter inch up or down. No, that's your body. The contact. Oh, yeah, right there. No, no, too much. Feel, and then change. See? You tell me where you go. You felt that? Yeah. You see what's happening? Yeah. Okay? So now go, and then shoot it out. Okay. Up. Go. Go. Make sense? Okay? Get the pressure you. No? Because you're trying to push. So what happens a lot of people you're trying to get the effect of you move it. So you're gonna try to use muscles. And then muscles aren't bad to use, you have no way to use them. When you bend, there's a dead space and now the weight comes in. So you can't catch up. Wherever you are, you fight for me, you want to fill up more. Okay? So I'm here, I fill up enough to keep the pressure coming. And now, just for technical, getting you to move without using anything else. Go, I open, connect, pressure's 50-50, put the hand. I sit my pelvis down, which changes the level, and you automatically start to go. You feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I do that quickly, go, and get that. Okay? You shoot yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So you pressure 50-50, right, right, right. Now relax and reach through by stretching through. That was good. Okay? Now, let's just say the guy's at 50 feet with a hard line. You put pressure, change the contact point. See, if I'm leaning here, and then you change it on me, I'm fucked up. Right? So if I get you here, don't let me move you, get into a 50 50. Right, see, now you're good. Right? Watch this. Because I took this, this point, this flat circle, 
contact, divide it 50-50, and turn one to 100 zero. Push your four corners, right? I just say the bottom two or the side two are being used, right? If I turn off one of those and make one 100, one zero, that contact punch is a rotate from the bottom to the So I'm here, push, right? I change the level, look. Okay. Right? If I'm here, I'm gonna change the level. Yep. And if I'm here, I'm gonna change the level. Right? This seems like, oh, how the fuck are you gonna use that to play? Uh, I know. <laughs> because as soon as you touch me, it has to already be happening. Yeah. Like on the reflex. Right? So that my natural guard, you couldn't punch my guard, you feel this around. Right? Obviously, I'm not gonna use this as a way to fight somebody. This is a utility tool. Right? It's a utility. Okay? It's just a cool little thing to have in your back pocket. Because if you go up against somebody who wants to rush you, and you come in hard, they get they get this feeling, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, what the fuck? You know? And the truth of that is like, when I use this, you see me spawn with people like that? I use only like 2% because I come, I don't want, I, that's what I want. Did you feel? Yeah. You felt that. So now, you think you're still able to fight. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You try to throw a punch, you, your body's all fucked up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I move you just enough that you don't notice I moved you. Right? You go jack. Same thing. Just enough. And then you use whatever style you're going to use. You use Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Karate, you know, bullshit jitsu, whatever, you know, ninja shit you decide to use. It doesn't matter because you're really putting you down in a little position. Right? So. 50, 50, reach, sit. Okay? 50, 50, reach, sit. Okay? Come. Reach from the inside of your bone, not from the outside of the bone. Yeah. And then sit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sit. Foot. Think about your foot being three feet down. So your feet are on the concrete, three feet on the concrete. Same thing. No, don't pump. If you're on the straight, you need straight on. If you're on the bent, you need to bent. Don't move your elbows. It's in here. Pressure. 50-50. Right? Stretch. Now, yeah, see? See that stretch? Right, don't move. It's without moving your body. Just stretch from, oh, right, no, 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 don't move the joint. Stretch from right here, go. Right, right, but now don't move the joint. So if you bent like this, you gotta do it from right here. That was good. Do you, you feel what I'm saying? I think so. Right? If you're here, and you're crooked, you gotta do it from right here. There you go, okay? And if by some stupid change you throw a down punch, and you get stuck, you gotta go from right here. Yeah, okay. Right? So it's almost like I'm stretching from my shoulder. It's every single joint in your body is opening and closing at the same time. But just for sake of getting the principle down, it's just pressure to pressure, stretch through the pressure, drop your head. Okay? Pressure, pressure, stretch through the pressure, drop your head. Right? You can go really extreme with it. Really sit down. I'm not giving it to you, you gotta really do it. It doesn't matter what position you're in. Right? You're most retarded, crooked, it doesn't matter. Okay? The feeling. What does it feel like? There you go. Right? Do it from here. Right? Do it from here. Nope. It's hard because you haven't used the outside of your phone before. Because most people are used to tactical their hands. Yeah. Tactile. Right? Just go right through. Yeah. As long as you feel pressure in the hand, pressure in the foot, stretch, drop the hip. Pressure hand, pressure foot, stretch, drop the hip. But there's other ways to do it. This is the easiest way I found to keep this. Right? Got it? 
stretch. Yes. Okay. 50 50, stretch. Now let's just say someone has you freeze and lock. Right? I can't open my arms. So I'm saying? If I try to do this kind of work, see how many like this. I can't move. So what do I do? Then I take the contact point, I fill it up and stretch, 50-50 stretch, 50-50, hands feet, I stretch through it, and I move myself away. I don't ever want to fight. When I say fight force on force, doesn't mean I can't be in a 50-50 with you when you're pushing on me. If I'm able to release it through the ground, I'm not heavy. You see? But if I try to fight against your arm, that's not good. Right? So if I'm here, push, I just leave it where it is and get out. See what I'm saying? I leave it where it is and leave it where it is before I get out. Oh, oh I leave the pressure there. I leave the pressure here and I move the rest of my body around it. Right? If I want to throw you from here, look, I could just go from here and just pop around. But generally, it's a lot easier to make the space. Okay? And with this, what do you do now? You pop the up. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta do pressure. Where's my contact? Right? Where's my contact? Yeah. Okay. So then, right, 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 right. You see how how hard it is for me to hold that? Yeah. And you're rotating. Okay. Make sense? 